hi friends it's precious welcome back to my channel I recently completed and uploaded a video showing you guys how I rebuilt my epidendrum empire and this is just an update of the area because that project was completed in January and it's now April and the empire is filled with blooms and I'm so excited to share it with you guys I have also added some more epidendrums to the empire and made lots of changes as well inside of the empire as you can probably tell from my walkthrough right now lots of changes have also taken place in my garden since my last garden tour I think the last episode was when I took you guys on a tour of the Brotona gallery so I guess that I'm overdue for another episode in the what's in my garden series so give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment to let me know if you would want for me to do a new episode of what's in my garden here at precious blooms it's all about love and positivity and I share my garden with you guys to inspire and motivate you so if you are interested in watching videos that are inspiring and ones that can add value to your gardening journey then join me and subscribe to my channel guys let me remind you when you hit that red subscribe button don't forget to click on the notification bell and select all so that you will never miss out when i upload a new video so here we are at the empire and as i said before it's bursting with blooms look at all this this is what i love about the epidendrum orchids and especially when you have them growing in one area in your garden or you put them together at a particular spot in my opinion they really stand out with all the variety of colors the different shades and shapes this is really beauty at its best and another thing that I love is that the blooms they or the petals they grow in clusters look at this one this is one of the more popular colors but nonetheless the orange with the yellow it brightens up the area really brightens the empire and as I promised to show you the blooms and also the new additions this is one of the latest additions to the empire this baby pink this is also one that was repotted recently wasn't doing anything but then I said let me give it give it one last try and it's not doing too badly this is another one that was recently repotted and this little one here this little cream one growing inside that I tucked inside of the driftwood I should say it used to be right by the TV if you recall from the video but then it wasn't being showcased much and I decided to relocate it and to place it at this section right between the two concrete planters and I think it looks much nicer standing there and this one inside the torso it was in bloom when I featured or when I did the video still showing it to you this is a light purple the blooms are tiny but the clusters make them stand out nonetheless and over here is a different shade of purple as you can see right here so as I said before they come in different shades and shapes and varieties this is a nice yellow it's going out of bloom now since I did the video and now because it has been been blooming for months this yellow and I love yellow in my garden because it's like sunshine even when it's raining 
yellow stands out in your garden. This is another addition, this light pink or purple. It's more pinkish with a shade of white. It's another addition. And you had already seen this planter inside Pearl's head. And I think I'm getting new growth here, right here, which means it's doing quite fine. And this area gets full sunlight for about an hour or two during the day. But I'm not seeing any signs of scorching or sunburn, so I guess they're doing fine with that amount of full sunlight. And this one inside the jeans planter, if you recall, in the video it was in spike but the spikes were not yet in bloom so guys this is what it looks like now another shade of red or it's a shade of red one of the shades of red that i have inside the empire it's a bit windy so the blooms or the spikes they are dancing in the wind or with the wind Numerous spikes in bloom here. Cluster of blooms. And there are also spikes with buds not yet open. This is another one here. And I'm also getting new growth down here, as you can see. And if you will recall this Epidemdrum growing inside the pot that is cooking on the coal stove. It was in spike, but now it has opened and it's the regular orange with the yellow. Here it is. And it seems to be competing with one of the trees, perhaps the Christmas palm. Look at that. And this is another spike from the same planter. And down here is a shade of orange. It's really, what should I say? It's a vibrant orange. Yes, that's the correct word, a vibrant orange. And the petals are really large. The plant is not yet a large plant. It just has, I have two shoots coming out the pot and there's a new growth right here, but the bloom is such a stunning one and it has it has buds yet to be opened and over here is a different shade of orange another addition to the empire and look at this guys growing inside the pot is a different shade of orange so right now i just showed you three different shades of orange the epidem drums they come in numerous colors a variety of colors and that is what I also love about them. This is another shade of red. And the petals are much larger than the one that is sitting inside the jeans planter. And the plant is so tiny that I had to tuck it between the legs of the little girl. Because, you know, it can get windy light right now, what we are experiencing. And I wouldn't want for it to topple over and, uh, and the plant gets damaged. So I tucked it safely between the legs of the little girl and look at this guys look at this yellow it can't get any better and right now i think this is my favorite color within the empire and look at this spike on the same plant a secondary spike And you see the blooms for the epis, guys? They last so long. That's another reason why I love them and I will invest in them. Because the blooms last for quite a while. This is another shade of red. And this is the same plant. I have it tucked inside this plant with the Christmas palm. Where I have some more radicans, epidemdrum radicans growing. And I think I featured this one a few minutes ago. The pink with the tinge of white, really a nice color, a nice contrast. And it's also a, an addition to the empire. And this little purple here, 
this is also a different shade of purple so I have three different shades of purple and this purple the bloom is a little bit larger than the other two shades that I featured just now all right so here we are over here almost missed this one I have epis growing inside this wire basket and here's a spike that's in bloom and over here is another spike from the same basket and this is another purple and another red here these are in the concrete planters look at this cluster of bloom guys just look at this and it's dancing in the wind and right here in the other planter is also another shade of red and look at this guys this one is no, it's not in a cluster it's quite different the petals are not being well they are not growing as a cluster or blooming as a cluster or in a cluster i should say but nonetheless it's quite pretty and another shade of red and the blooms are a little bit larger than the one i just showed you in the other planter much larger so guys i have some other interesting things to share with you you remember that do you remember that antique phone that i gave to pearl well pearl was not happy with it because the other day i had two friends come visiting me in my garden so after they left pearl you know she beckoned to me and she said she had something to say to me so i said pearl what is it pearl said miss precious i don't feel comfortable with that antique planter out here in the empire you know? i said pearl why you said that she said you see the two ladies them that come the other day as soon as you turned the back you, as soon as you turned your back one of them whispered to the other one and the one that she whispered to she turned and looked at the antique phone and then they started giggling so she said miss precious i don't think that, that antique phone is safe out here can you switch it for another phone please i have to have a telephone because i need to call you but i don't want this antique phone because i don't want it to go missing and then i'm going to have to give account for it miss precious so please i'm asking you i'm begging you switch it for another antique and this is what i gave pearl but you know guys um before i get to that for those of you who are probably my age or close to my age you can attest to this phone you can recall seeing it sometime in your life or during your lifetime perhaps when you were much younger yes this is one of the antique phones that we had back in the days and you know guys i think giving pearl a telephone was really a bad idea you know because every minute pearl called me pearl tell me that call me the other day and make me know that our shoes are big bread and it's ugly and she not like it mr pearl look how long me put on the shoes pan. you just realize that the shoe is not nice anymore she said miss precious when me think about it it don't fit into the empire it's really ugly I said, Pearl, what am I going to do? She said, Miss Precious, you don't have another pair of shoes you can give me. I said, all right, Pearl, let me go and look. So I went and I took out another pair of boots for Pearl. Pearl looked at it and said, Miss Precious, is the same ugly shoes you're going to give me? I said, Pearl, this one not begging any bread. She said, Miss Precious, it's still ugly. So you know what I did, guys? I said, okay, Pearl. And you know what I did? I just went and I added some paint to it. I painted it yellow. And I think, ironically, one of my viewers, she had suggested that I give her boots a coat of yellow. Yes, so great minds think alike. Thank you for that suggestion. So here it is. Pearl is wearing a new pair of boots. Look at it. Painted by Precious Blooms. And she was really happy with this. She said, Whoa, Miss Precious, you fix up the boot nice for me, man. It really look nice. You see the one pearl? She making some demand, you see, people. One night I inside and I get a call. 
When I look at the phone, Pearl calling me. I said, Pearl, what is it you want at this time of the night? Pearl say, Miss Precious, out your dark bed. I need a light out here, please. You have to bring me a lamp. And so, guys, I had to go and get this antique lantern and put it inside the empire to give Pearl some light. Only thing, Pearl, easy. Miss say, Pearl, miserably, you see? Pearl, every minute Pearl wants something, she just, Miss Precious, me wah, wah, wah. She must be a siren. Wah, 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 wah. But guess what, guys? Pearl is protecting my empire, and so I have to ensure that she's comfortable. So whatever she demands, I try my best to fulfill her demand. And then the next demand where she make people, she said, if me expect her to sit in the empire the whole day and not with her lips. Mr. Pearl, what do you mean by that? Pearl says she want coffee or tea. So guys, I had to go and get a pot of tea for Pearl. Look at this antique teapot. Yes. And then Pearl say, Miss Precious, me I go want soda for drink too. So look at this, guys. Look at this. I gave Pearl two, the two most popular soda, Pepsi and 7-Up. And for those of you youngsters, you will not know that this, or you're just learning that this is what Pepsi and 7-Up used to look like back in the days. Glass bottle. And this is it. Really antique. Really antique. And the tray that I'm using, it's a saucer from one of my planters and I have it sitting on a piece of driftwood and don't have no antique cup for Pearl but I gave her a cup filled with hearts to show her how much I love her. And I should also show you that I elevated Pearl's head. I gave her another tear because I think it looks much nicer when her head is elevated some more. And I also gave her a necklace to show her, to show my appreciation for her being in my empire and ruling it so efficiently. And I'm going to tell you why Pearl, I say Pearl is ruling my empire efficiently, guys. Look at this over here. You remember this frog? Look at this. It caught some slugs. See them here? Just look at these slugs three slugs and over here the kitty caught a lizard you see this lizard guys it used to be sitting on the driftwood all the way around by um pat's vanderbed you know and since i built the empire she pick up her inquisitive self and come around here not knowing that a kitty was sitting inside the empire and so she met her fate look at this kitty caught the lizard so no slugs no lizard shall be inside of pearl's empire you see this little girl i had asked for suggestions for a name for her and i got lots of suggestions some of them made me laugh one person even said precious so if i name this little girl precious whenever pearl pick up the phone to call me and say miss precious she going to answer thinking she um, pearl is referring to I got Perlina, I got Pam, I got Jewel, quite a number of names. But you see this little girl, she's such a gem. And that is why I'm going to be naming her Gem. Because from I placed her inside the empire, guys, she has not moved from where she's lying down. She has been watching television. She has not complained about a thing. Unlike Pearl, she has not asked for anything. And, you know, I had to give her some cereal as a treat for her good behavior. Look at this. Look at the cereal. I think this is Frosted Flakes with cow's milk. And if you look closely, guys, you will recognize what the Frosted Flakes are made of and also the cow's milk. Leave me a comment. Let me hear your suggestions or your answer. Let me know what you think these items are they are items that we use in our garden and i replicated them for the um corn flakes the frosted flakes i should say and the cow's milk so this is what i gave her as a treat because i think she deserves it and i also told you guys that i would get a cassette you know 
because you see Pearl, I know she going to tell me that she bored from watching the TV. And so I found a cassette and I inserted it inside the tape recorder for Pearl so she can listen to some nice soothing music whenever she wants to. Or if she wants to listen to some reggae, no problem. And guys, I have a story to tell you. The other morning I came out here about 7 o'clock and Pearl was fast asleep. So I said, Pearl, I shook her and I wake her up. I said, Pearl, why are you not up as yet? Why are you still sleeping and you're here to protect and to guard my empire? Pearl said, she sit up whole night because she has to make sure my empire is all right and everything is fine and all of that. Pure excuse. So I said, all right, Pearl, I'm going to solve the problem. You shall not wake up another morning late in my empire. And so I went and I got Ricky the rooster. You see when this rooster crow? If Pearl is at Timbuk Fati in her dreams, she got to wake up when this rooster crows. Look at the rooster. And I'm calling him Ricky. Ricky the rooster. And every rooster got to have a hen, right? So I gave Ricky Henrietta the hen. Look at this. So Henrietta is over there elevated a little above Ricky who is down here. So Ricky shall be the alarm clock for Pearl to get up in the mornings. If you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are enjoying the blooms from the empire, give this video a thumbs up as well. And if you are enjoying the stories about Pearl, give this video a thumbs up because I think it deserves a thumbs up. Look at all those blooms. And I'm now going around to the back of the empire. This is a little passageway that I created. So you can walk all the way around to the back and still enjoy the blooms inside the empire. And what I did, I should tell you too, I used some ferns inside the empire to sort of keep, you know, the empire's cool during the day because it can be extremely hot where I live. And this is a another epidemic drum growing inside a clay pot and i think it's in spike over here yes it is and i placed some driftwoods around the back of the empire you know to still give it so a little attraction and this is where enrita is sitting inside one of the driftwood and i draped some old man's beard on it and who can identify this shell? If you have been watching my videos, all I did was to add some color to it so that I can differentiate it from my other shells. This is the shell that Adam gave me when I went to visit the Garden of Eden. So what I did was to just add some paint to it. And these are the pieces of driftwood that I placed at the back of the empire. And um, this, planter has two different colors growing inside when I potted or repotted they weren't in bloom so I wasn't sure what color they were but now they are in bloom and I'm quite pleased this is an orange and the blooms are petals I should say they are quite large and this is another shade of purple I'd shown it to you from around the front of the empire so now this is a close-up view and this is another spike inside the same planter. Not sure what color it will give me, but I'm sure that I'll still love whatever color comes along. And if you can recall from the video when I built the empire, that I had run out of the double keystone. And so I used, because I didn't have any more double keystone, I used the single keystone to complete the border. So the border is now completed. And this Dracaena, I also use it to give the Epis to the back some filtered sunlight or filtered shade. And um, this Christmas palm also offers 
some amount of shade to the Epis in this section of the empire. And I saved the best for last, guys. I saved the best for last. What am I doing differently now in terms of growing my Epidendrum orchids? In comparison to what I was doing way back then and killing most of them well as I said before I had a lot of colors I had them growing all over my garden lost some of them because I kept moving them around and I think the medium that I was using was a bit heavy and I overwatered and they rotted and died well now I have been using a different medium one that is much lighter and the components of this mixture is construction gravel charcoal peanut shells some sawdust for a little moisture retention a substitute for the sawdust can be coconut husk that is finely chopped and if you live in a cool climate area i don't think you would need to have the sawdust or the finely chopped coconut husk but because where i live it's extremely hot i try to use those items for for a little moisture retention and then i'm going to tell you about another ingredient that i have inside this mixture years ago i can recall betty stevenson ashley saying to me girl put some cow manure inside the pot with the epidendrum then but back then i never paid her advice any mind never gave it much thought i never even made the effort to go and source the organic matter no couldn't be bothered with that back in those days but recently when I started growing them all over again, I remembered her advice and so I decided to try it. Guys, this cow manure that Betty advised me to use, it is almost like my secret ingredient in the formula for growing my Epidendrum successfully. Yes, I think it works like a charm. And so that is what I have been using to grow my Epidendrum orchids when I repotted them recently. The construction gravel, small pieces of charcoal, peanut shells. Peanut shells will give more aeration and good drainage. The sawdust and the cow manure. And I think they are doing well. Guys, I have to pause this video right now to share some vital information with you. As I said before, the cow manure is what really boots my epidendrums to grow successfully or for them to thrive. And I should tell you that whenever you use the cow manure, please ensure that it is broken down properly. And by that I mean there should not be any lumps inside the manure. It should feel like soil when you take it up in your hand. So, you know, it should be as light as soil and it should not have any odor as well. So bear those two things in mind, please. That is the stage at which I use my cow manure. Some people will say that the cow manure is quite safe to use. It won't burn your plants, even if it's not broken down properly. But as them say, prevention is better than cure. And I'm not going to take that chance. And I'd suggest that you don't either. So please ensure that it's broken down properly before you include it in your um, soil mixture or whatever mixture you may be using to grow your Epidendrum orchids. Thank you. Let us now get back right into the video. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know how you grow your Epidendrum orchids, what medium you use to grow them successfully, 
or if you have challenges growing them let me know just the same what condition you grow them under whether it be full sunlight and I guess that would depend on the area where you're living if it's a cool climate area then I guess they can be grown in full sunlight or if you have them growing in filtered shade leave me a comment and let me know and so I think we have come to the end of the update of the Epidemdrum Empire. If you enjoyed the update, give it a thumbs up. And also leave me a comment if it's even a smiley face emoji because that helps my channel to grow. And guys, I'm going to ask you please, whenever the ads pop up on your screen, I know you want to anxiously get back to the video, you know. But please, I'm going to ask you to just watch the ads for even a minute or two because that also helps my channel to grow. Thank you guys for watching. On behalf of Pearl and Gem, my little Gem here, take care, stay precious until we see you again in our next video. Not sure if Jem and Pearl is going to be in my next video, but I'm speaking on behalf of them. Bye.